For an actor, your costume is your second skin and one that, when brilliantly designed and made, allows you to relax and give a great performance. Let's take a look at tonight's nominations. Costume design. Annie Simons, Da Vinci's Demons. Welcome, all of you, into God's home. Suzanne Cave, an adventure in space and time. One, two, three. Step by two. Two. I said immediately. You will recover shortly unless you force us to use our weapons again. Is that case? Well, everyone, meet the Daleks. Lucinda Wright, The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher, The Murder in Angel Lane. I'll remember something. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm sorry, my niece is... She's got dark hair. Oh! Get off me! What are you doing? Get off! Give that back to its rightful owner! I don't need him for three days. Can you let me go? Would you like me to find a constable? Get off! Are you sure? Yes, please, let him go. Now we have to go our separate ways. I feel quite nervous. Nonsense. Onwards to the breach. Caroline McCall, Downton Abbey. The Countess of Grantham presenting the Lady Rose McClare. Thank you, Lady Grantham. <laughs> The BAFTA is awarded to Caroline McCall for Downton Abbey. <laughs> wow! Um, thank you, BAFTA. It's a huge nomin a huge honour to be nominated. I wouldn't be here without the support and talent of my wonderful team. Asia Macy, Isabel Fraser, Heather Leach, Jess Phillips, Sally Crease, and my brilliant assistant, Polly Kiriakou, were only as good as the people we're lucky enough to work with. Um, and thanks go to my excellent makers, Sarah Humphrey, Kim Witcher, Claire Ramsell, and Sean Barrett. The show wouldn't be possible without the help of the costume houses. So thanks to Richard Green at Angels, and particularly John Bright and all his team at Cosprop. Thanks to Gareth Neem and Liz Truebridge for giving me the opportunity and Rupert Ryle Hodges for his tremendous support. And of course, our wonderful cast who are a joy to dress. Thank you very much. If there's one show that definitely deserved to win for costume, it is Downton. Oh my goodness, those dresses and outfits are amazing. Oh, well, thank you, but the competition was amazing. I'm very shocked. <laughs> this is your first BAFTA? Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, so tell me how it feels, what it felt like to hear your name called. There's a sort of feeling of, am I on the stage and I shouldn't be? Because <laughs> you think, really? So it's a huge shock, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but it's so heavy. I know. But it's so exciting to win a BAFTA. I'm so pleased. It's just thrilling. Yeah, so Downton has had quite a lot of success and now that you can yeah. like, contribute to that. Yeah. Um, it was an exciting series of Downton. I interviewed mm. the cast, actually, mm -hmm. just as it was about to go on TV last autumn. Yeah. And they were all so happy because it was in the, the Roaring Twenties and they have fantastic costumes. <laughs> was that exciting for you as well? It's, it's fantastic. It's a great job to get the opportunity to, to do because it's, there's so much glamour involved, but there's also a pressure there because you want to, um, you want to serve your audience well. And um, there aren't a lot of clothes of that period in very good condition left. So you have to find ways of, of managing that huge, huge cast and making costumes and finding things and trying to make it all work in harmony under a lot of time constraints. But um, it's, you know, it's a sort of 
childhood dream job to get to do a costume drama. I bet. And well, on that one as well, which is mm. internationally, yes. you know, it's successful and people all around the world are the talking point is what they're wearing as well a lot of the time. So for you, you must have to put in a lot of groundwork into that as well. Yes. Yeah, well, you have to you have to put that out of your mind, really, because it would be debilitating if you thought about the number of people that watch it and talk about the costumes. So you really have to serve the characters first and then hope that the audience will enjoy what you've done.